Hey guys, Siju here and uh, today's uh, video is about calcium hydroxide placement. Now the reason I'm doing this uh, video is I received a mail uh, from a colleague of mine um, a few days ago and uh, he was um, uh, trying to do anodontic therapy for a patient of his in his practice and uh, he placed calcium hydroxide in, in a particular patient and, and uh, the patient had a lot of discomfort because he had extruded calcium hydroxide beyond the apex and he mailed me a radiograph of the case and it looked something like this. Now um, this set me thinking because um, sometimes some, some procedures as simple as calcium hydroxide placement if not done the right way can lead to a lot of uh, serious complications uh, in your clinical practice. So let me show you how we go about placing calcium hydroxide in everyday practice and let me uh, try and tell you some of the things that you can do to avoid complications of uh, calcium hydroxide placement in your practice. Have a look. We mostly use Apex Cal from uh, Ivoclar Vivident and uh, AltraCal from um, uh, Ultradent, both of which are aqueous solutions of calcium hydroxide. Uh, occasionally, for open apex cases, we use um, something called Metapex, which is calcium hydroxide mixed with iodoform. This is much more thicker than the other forms of calcium hydroxide, so you don't want to use it in regular cases or in narrow canals because it just doesn't go through. Uh, for inserting the calcium hydroxide into the canals, we use delivery tips. We use uh, navy tips from um, Alterdent, or uh, you have plastic delivery tips which you see at the bottom uh, from multiple companies. Uh, the top two, the blue and the yellow, are navy tips, and uh, these are the easiest to use. Uh, you can insert them into the tube, into the calcium hydroxide tube, and you have stoppers. You can adjust the stopper as well, and then you can just extrude it into the canal. The plastic tubes uh, delivery. And, uh, tips are uh, again used the same way. You just attach it to the calcium hydroxide tube and just inject. Uh, the Metapex, uh, the thicker version uh, calcium hydroxide mixed with iodoform, cannot be injected uh, through the navy tips. If you compare the navy tip on top with the plastic tip down, you can see the plastic tip is much more bigger than the navy tip. The navy tips are too small uh, to inject uh, the iodoform uh, um, mixed with calcium hydroxide. For, so for Metapex, we use. Uh, uh, the the bigger plastic tips so these are used to inject uh, the metapex actually you can see the metapex is actually much more thicker you can see how slowly it flows so uh, you select the uh, the navy tips uh, and uh, you place them in the canal before that you adjust the stopper and the first thing we do is we inject a little bit outside the tooth so to make sure that it's flowing because sometimes navy tips do get clogged so once you know that it's not clogged we uh, insert it into the canal adjust the stopper uh, to make sure it's uh, uh, within the working length. Okay, that's the first step. Second step to make sure is that it's not binding in the canal. So if you look at clo look closely, you can see that the needle is actually binding in the canal. Now, if it is binding and you start injecting, then you're going to get what uh, the kind of clinical scenario that you see on the radi radiograph on the right side. So you make sure it doesn't bind. Okay, when you pull it, it should not be binding in the canal. It should move freely, like uh, like what you're seeing right now. So once you know that it's moving freely up and down, then you inject a little bit of, of calcium hydroxide into the middle uh, or coronal third. And uh, once it is in the middle or coronal third, you use the needle to carry it deeper into the canal. So you inject a little bit in the middle coronal third and then push it deeper using um, the, the metal uh, tip. So we keep repeating this about uh, four or five times till the entire uh, middle or coronal third is uh, filled uh, with calcium hydroxide. And uh, once we're sure uh, that's done, I like to take uh, the master cone uh, uh, into the canal up to working length. So here we see we put the master cone all the way to working length. And this makes sure that the calcium hydroxide is carried all the way right up to the apex. So you can see if you zoom in, you can see how uh, the calcium hydroxide has gone right to the apex. One of the problems that a lot of practitioners write in is that they can't afford navy tips, especially when they're practicing in rural areas and the root canal fees are low. Uh, they want to find out uh, if they can place calcium hydroxide without navy tips or without delivery tips. So I'm going to try and show you uh, how we can do that. Uh, I'm going to put uh, calcium hydroxide into the other canal using uh, without using navy tips. We're just going to use uh, Gadaparka cones to carry the uh, uh, calcium hydroxide. So for this I like to use the 2% tapered cones, not the 4% tapered cones. So we inject a bit of calcium hydroxide into the mixing uh, pad and then we coat the Kadaparka cone uh, which fits to working length uh, which is already pre-checked and then we cover this with calcium hydroxide and then the, we use that as a uh, 
medium to carry the calcium hydroxide into the tube. Initially, you see when you do that the first few times, there won't be any calcium hydroxide left in the Gadaburka cone. So you recoat the cone again and then carry it again into the canal. So you keep doing this multiple times till uh, the, the canal gradually starts getting it, it obviously it's a bit more time consuming than um, navy tips but uh, there will come a stage where uh, when you insert in the canal and take it out the canal the the gadapurka cone uh, comes out with calcium hydroxide still in that so when you actually zoom in you actually see there will be a stage where the entire canal gets uh, filled with calcium hydroxide so this is how you can place calcium hydroxide without uh, using navy tips or any other delivery tips. Now a lot of people like to use cotton after this. Here you can see they plug in cotton around the calcium hydroxide and then cover this with temporary. But we don't like to use it because if you actually zoom in you can see those cotton fibers they tend to stick out and then they act as capillary tubes to draw saliva into the canal. So they can contaminate the canal. So we don't use um, cotton instead we plug uh, cavit G directly into the above the calcium hydroxide straight into the canal. So we you can see me applying pressure with uh, a plastic filling instrument. This can be easily removed with ultrasonics during a second visit when the patient comes back. So after that we apply pressure with a, a wet micro brush to plug the cavity into the canal and uh, we don't leave the cavity alone. Uh, we cover the cavity with uh, glass ionomer cement. So we use glass ionomer as a temporary uh, filling material. All right, so those are some of the guidelines that can uh, minimize complications from using calcium hydroxide in everyday practice. And uh, do let me know whether this short video helped you or not. Uh, you can keep in touch by logging on to our websites. The links are coming up uh, after this um, and keep in touch.